Excel accounting practice problem bill form. Get ready, because we're about to Excel with Excel. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along, we got two tabs down below, example tab, practice tab, example tab in essence being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. Also note in prior presentations, we put together this entire example sheet from a blank sheet, which is great practice. You can go through and put that together if you so choose. In our example tab, then we're going to be looking at the activity that might be put in place with a bill type of form in an accounting system. Or in other words, if you use something like accounting software, the transactions are typically going to be tied to a particular form. The transactions that increase accounts payable with an accounting software usually been done so with the data input for called a bill. When we think about a bill from this standpoint, we're going to differentiate a bill from an invoice, even though they're kind of the same thing but from different sides of the table with regards to accounting software. So in other words, most accounting software, the bill means that a vendor is going to be billing us for goods and services that we have then purchased cash ultimately going out at the end of the day to pay for the goods and services as opposed to an invoice, which is we're going to be the people that do the goods and services and are billing or invoicing the clients, which we'll talk about later. A bill form might look something like this at the bottom with regards to a accounting software and the bill form is set up so that the data input can be as easy as possible by someone doing the data input that doesn't really know how or doesn't need to know how per se to set up the bill with the items and so on and what is going to be the impact on the financial statements. What we want to do is now look at the behind the scenes work basically in an Excel formula, an Excel format to see what's going to happen in like a, in the Excel system with regards to the creation of the financial statements. So that's, we're going to have three kind of components. If we have a bill and we're paying accounts payable, we might be paying for a normal kind of expense, or we're going to pay in the future. We're basically incurred some normal expense, like a utilities expense. We may have purchased something like equipment that we're going to pay in the future. And that would be a fixed asset. And then we'll take a look at inventory, which is possibly the most complex.